Good afternoon, Bears. This is the Friday edition of the WBBN News. I'm Sarah. And I'm Nino. We have a lot going on, so please listen up. Are you interested in a career in healthcare? Thinking of becoming a certified nursing assistant? Applications are now available for juniors who would like to apply for the next school year. The deadline for submitting the application is today. See Mrs. Caraballo in room 666 for more information. Any student interested in joining yearbook, please see Ms. Fowler in room 642 before March 26 for an application. The application deadline is March 26. Seniors, the deadline to apply to Reward Schools Foundation Scholarship is quickly approaching. This year, there are 53 scholarships seniors can apply for. Awards vary from $500 to $3,000. Get started today by logging on to the website below to create an account and begin the application process. Application deadlines are March 15th. The senior event Twilight Masquerade will be held on campus April 10th from 5 to 8 p.m. Dust off your fancy dress and shoes and plan to attend a catered dinner in your honor. The evening will cost you $25. Tickets will be on sale March 22nd through April 1st during all lunches. The senior class officers and Ms. Khalil have worked hard to organize a special event to celebrate you. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Khalil. We'll be right back after this. In honor of Women's History Month, today's spotlight is on Madeline Albright. Madeline Albright was born on May 15, 1937, in Smithoff, Czechoslovakia. Before her family migrated to the United States, her original name was Marie Jana Korblova. She is the daughter of Czech diplomat Joseph Korbel. Due to her political background, Madeleine Albright is the first woman to hold cabinet as the U.S. Secretary of State. A year after Madeleine was born, the Munich Agreement was signed and her family fled to England. For a majority of her life, she believed that her family left the country because of political reasons. But she later found out that her family was Jewish and three of her grandparents had died in concentration camps. After World War II, her family went back to their country, but due to the Soviet-sponsored communist groups, they became refugees again and fled to the U.S. In 1955, Madeline attended Wellesley College in Massachusetts to major in political science. While home in Denver from Wellesley, Corbel worked as an intern for the Denver Post. There she met Joseph Medill Patterson Albright, her former husband. In 1968, she graduated with her master's from Columbia University. A few years after graduating, she worked as a fundraiser and chief legislative advisor for Senator Edmund Muskie. By 1976, she not only received a Ph.D. from Columbia, but also was working for President Jimmy Carter's national security advisor. In the late 80s and early 90s, she began teaching international affairs at Georgetown University. In 1997, after working with President Clinton, she was nominated to the position of Secretary of State. She gained a reputation at the United Nations conferences as a tough-minded and fierce advocate for American interests. She promoted an increased role for the U.S. in the United Nations operations. Albright remained an advocate of military intervention and a forceful champion of both democracy and human rights. In 1999, she pushed for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization bombings in Yugoslavia to halt the ethnic cleansing of ethnic Albanians in Kosovo. She was also in efforts to end North Korea's nuclear program, and in 2000, she became the highest ranking U.S. official to visit the country. After leaving her position as U.S. Secretary of State, she opened up a consulting firm in D.C. called the Albright Group. Due to her accomplishments, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. She has also authored six books. Currently, she is 83 years old and has three daughters. When asked how she gained political acknowledgement, she stated, It took me quite a long time to develop a voice, and now that I have it, I am not going to be silent. For most students, there is nothing better than their senior year, but not everyone experiences it in the same way. For Jackie Isnardi, her time at Bayside has been spent showcasing her musical talents. Jackie has been in band since her freshman year. Starting out in concert band, she earned the Most Improved Freshman Award. Her sophomore year, Jackie joined both Wind Ensemble and the Marching Bears. In junior year, she was chosen to perform in the All-County Band. That same year, Jackie was also nominated by Mr. Elias to perform in the USF Festival of Winds concert. She was also designated as Band Librarian. Now in her senior year, Jackie was promoted to Woodwind Captain. 
for she oversees the section leaders and monitors their respective progress. She also supervises the loading and unloading of all woodwind and brass instruments at all band events. Jackie has made some amazing memories in band, but one moment in particular comes to mind. My fondest memory of band probably has to be MPA and the feeling of satisfaction after every performance and doing that with the people I love the most and the people I'm closest to. It's, it's an amazing feeling and I'm really going to miss it. Outside of band, Jackie is hardworking as well. In the classroom, she currently maintains a 4.0 GPA. Since sophomore year, Jackie has been enrolled in Eastern Florida State College's dual enrollment program. She will be awarded her AA degree at graduation in May this year. Jackie keeps herself busy outside of school. She is currently a cashier at Publix. In her spare time, she plays the piano, writes small short stories, and researches information on space and astronomy. Jackie's impressive high school resume has made her very desirable to many universities. In the fall, Jackie will attend UCF where she will major in biology. She would like to become a doctor that specializes in neuroscience. Congratulations, Jackie, and all that you've accomplished here at Bayside. We wish you the best of luck in the future. This has been Chris Matias reporting for the WBBN. And we're back. Seniors, do you need help registering for federal student financial aid? There will be a free FAFSA online event on March 22nd and March 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. This is for all graduating seniors who have not filled out their application forms. Please visit the website floridashines.org and look for the College 101 tab to register for this event. The deadline to buy a yearbook is March 30th. Buy yours for $80 before supplies run out at yearbookforever.com. You're definitely going to want to remember this very interesting and unique year. Any student who would like to take the ASVAB test on March 24th, stop by the guidance office to sign up. Tutoring will be held in detention slash ISS room on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Tutoring sessions for ESOL students will be held on Mondays from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 603. Any student who would like to sign up for extra help, stop by room 603. Congratulations to track athletes Rebecca Garcia and Justice Durant. Rebecca tied the school record in high jump, jumping five feet. Justice set a new school record in the 400 dash, running 50.5 seconds. That wraps up this week's edition of the WBBN News. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bayside WBBN. Have a great weekend, Bears.